Hello everyone, today we will be upgrading RAM on the Alienware Aurora R6. Let's open it. So the back, as I mentioned in previous video, here there is a screw. To unscrew and push this so the side panel is coming off. Sometimes not as easy as it looks. Okay. So to upgrade the RAM, we need to move the power section. It's very easy by sliding up those two locks. Okay. We can see right now we have 16 gigabyte we press this two white locks just comes out so this there this is what is inside Aurora R6 and the current model this is was not upgraded it was coming standard 16 gigabyte 2400 megahertz and the benchmark was showing that that was not the best RAM you can have, so we will be upgrading it on 4 HyperX Fury, they 8 GB each, so we will have 32 GB, and they are 2666 megahertz. Okay, let's start. The opening locks on all of them will be using all four slots. You also need to make sure you place it properly and it's all the way in, otherwise you will have errors during boot up. sure all locks are in place, everything is inside. I benchmarked this Alienware Aurora 6 with the 16 gigabyte RAM that was inside. And I'm gonna be doing the same benchmark and we'll see the results. Okay, so all, all them inside. Let's look closer. This is what we have inside right now. Looks nicer, I must admit. Okay, let's check benchmarks. Okay, so we just installed the RAM and I actually have some problems. The problem is uh, it recognizes only 16 gigabyte out of 32, so only two sticks, eight gigabyte each, are actually being accepted by the system. And if I'm trying to put three sticks or four, it doesn't work. The, the computer just doesn't start. There is no display, the lights up, there is nothing's going on. There is no keyboard, no nothing. So what actually I have to do is I'm gonna show you to, to make it work, I needed to go in BIOS. And in BIOS, let me just turn the screen. In BIOS, right here, you can see that in system memory, right here, right at the bottom, there are 32 gigabytes DDR4, 2667. So it's been accepted. How did that happen? We have to go in advanced. In the advanced, we're gonna go into performance options. And here, you see that it was enabled, overclocking feature was enabled. So you would have to enable it, and you would have to turn to XMP memory, which was disabled previously. 
and to turn at least for level 1 overclocking your uh, CPU so without this it will not accept 3 or 4 sticks so this is how I made it happen, how I made it work and I exit it, so you're gonna exit, save change and, and reset and the system will work before that the system was just continuously starting uh, I would say computer was just starting up lighting up, working for about one or two minutes and shutting off and starting again so nothing actually was happening okay so yeah so this is what you have to do thank you everybody for watching please subscribe to my channel and like this video see you guys